Today what I'm going to show with this lock is how a back door uh, inserted in this lock can survive a factory reset. So in this scenario I've inserted a key in key slot 16 of the lock um, and what I'm going to be doing is performing a factory reset. To first demonstrate that this is this lock I'll just open and close it. And now what I'll do is I'll issue a factory reset. At this point that lock has been reset um, and so uh, it should be in a factory state and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on my laptop and I'm going to try to use that back door I had previously inserted uh, to open that lock. So what we see there is the back door survived the factory reset. So now what we'll do is we'll commission this lock. So this is what would happen if uh, a new customer purchased this lock and, it, and added it to their home. So we're going to scan for the lock and we should be able to find it here soon. Okay, there it is front door, that'd be great. I'll add it to the layer. Okay, the lock is connected. So now if we go to that lock, um, we'll see I can now open it, I can close it from the phone. Um, it's not actually configured, which is why it's not going back to the right location. Um, however, I'll issue the same uh, command to try to reopen it from my computer so this would be after you installed in your house um, we'll see that the back door survives the factory reset here and it'll open the device uh, first I need, do need to disconnect uh, from the phone here there we go now just to show it wasn't that phone I'll just uh, reissue it so we'll relock the lock and send it again and there we go. Um, the green light would indicate an access grant has occurred. And so it would be in this lock. And so this lock has undergone a factory reset. It was commissioned by a new customer. Um, and we can see that uh, we can still access the lock.